We're here with Dave the Devilfish Ulliot. Dave, thanks for coming in today. No problem. So I want to talk to you a little bit about table talk. How do you read your opponents at the table? How do you talk to them and gain information? Um, really to, um, to, you know, to get any uh, mileage out of listening to people talk and, and, and try and you know, get a tell out of it, you have to play with them a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I used to play uh, strip deck stud poker in the old days, and I used to, my brother used to play in the game, and if he was in a pot with me, he'd, refu he'd refuse to talk to me, because I could usually tell if he was bluffing or if he had it, you know. How could you tell? I don't know. I mean, I can't really remember. I say it was like 20 years ago, but um, I know I could always tell. And so he, st he refused to speak to me. Mm -hmm. So obviously there is some mileage in it, but I guess you've got to play with people a lot, a lot to, to, to know when they, you know, to pick up on, on wh wh whether they're bluffing or not by the way they're talking. And, and in tournaments, you don't, you know, you, you're always changing yeah. tables, you sit on with strangers. So I don't put too much uh, stock in, uh, in table talk. I, I would sooner... I think actions speak louder than words, as I say. Um, you're better off if two people get in a in a in like a, a pressure situation. You know, they're both in a big pot, and one's better than one's calling. And and um, and hopefully at the end of the situation, though, at the end of the end, you know, one of them calls or uh, or they check it down at the end and they turn the hand over, and you can see then. You know which one was like betting when he shouldn't have been, and which one was betting when he should have been, and or, or the other way around. You know what I mean? You can get a fix on how, how they played the hand, and, and and how they acted while they was betting. If you're watching them really close, you know. I hope this is making sense to you. It is. It's a bit mumble jumble, isn't it? But anyway, what I'm saying is, you know, if, if they get, if you get two people in a pressure situation, and at the end you get to see the cards, you can see exactly Very valuable. How, exactly how the one that was betting how he acted when he was betting with the best. And you can see how the, the other one was acting when he was bluffing, you know, so you get, you pick up some information there. That's, to me, that's the best tell of the lot, and that's the best time to get a tell. So what about at the very beginning of a tournament, day one of a tournament, you sit down at the table, and you don't know anybody. How do you gauge your play? Well, if you don't know anybody, you can't really go on any tells. You've just got to, um, unless you get some, like, young internet players, and you can see they're really nervous, you know. But sometimes they're really nervous, and they've got the nuts. They just don't know what to do with it. So, um, yeah, I mean, you've just got to, just play normal poker then. Don't 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 worry about tells. Just play just play your hand. You know? Well, you're often very vocal at the tables. Do you think that ever gives away tells about your hand? I don't know. Um, you just gotta you gotta try and decide in your mind what you've got to say to make them call you or make them fall, depending on the situation and on the player and whether it's high player or loose player. You can't really. I can't really. You know. Uh, think of a situation, but it's it's just how, how it pans out on on the table, you know, at the time, and who you're against, you know. It's very difficult to like, you know, make a make a statement here. It just depends who you're against, and if if they've been slow to call you, and if the if they look like they wanted to raise you, or you know, you know, if you, if you think they're on a draw, if you think they've got a handmade, whatever, you know. When is it a good time to just keep quiet at the tables, or is there ever a good time to keep? When quiet? you've got nothing to say. When you've got nothing to say. <laughs> That's never stopped you, though, right? I'm only joking, man. Um, <laughs> uh, when is it a good time to keep quiet at the table? Um, sometimes you can you can learn more by keeping quiet, I guess. I've never been that type of player. But, you know, I've always been a lucky player in so much as, um, at the, you know, um, I don't think what it was, no. I didn't make it in, um, I think you said, uh, you know, I was the best at reading people, putting them on their hands, so. So how do you put people on their hands? How do you do it, Dave? Um, just by, I mean, a lot. Of, I mean, it's a lot easier to put people on a hand in Omaha than it is in Oldham. Really? Yeah, because um, there's certain situations where there's no way they would check if they had a good hand. You know, they're not going to give people a free card. You know, um, unless they're a really rock tight player, because they're really rock, like, for instance, like Donica. Yeah, he, if he bets, everybody's going to fall, and he wins a small part. So he might, he might check uh, 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 when he's flop top set, mm -hmm. even though there's a flush draw there and. A straight draw there. It might check it just to try and get a bit of action, you know. But most normal players, um, good players, are not going to check in a, in a very dangerous situation, you know. They're going to bet out there. I mean, it's the same in Oldham, but in Oldham it doesn't come up that much where people are likely to have straight draws and flush draws and stuff, you know, unless you're in a multi way pot like four people. But it's the same thing if you've got four people in an Oldham pot and it's come down like, uh, for instance, ten jack of clubs and you've got two aces, you know, and, and two people have checked. If you check to check, hope the last man's going to bet this, then you're stupid, you know. I mean, uh, there's, there's guarantee somebody's in there with a straight draw, or flush draw, you know, and it's double sided, you know. If you bet it, you know, you, you, you might get some action on some with somebody with a draw, you know. So, mm -hmm. why give him a free cat to